Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a cool craft that involves this wallet sort of thing. It was pretty cool, but as you can see, it got a little damaged. I'm just going to peel off any bumpy parts or uneven parts of the paint that might call, cause trouble to um, redoing. What I'm using is these three acrylic paints. You can use any color. I'm choosing these colors because me, I like these colors. I'm also using one of these makeup sponges. They work really well. And I am using a, a plastic bag. No, sorry. <laughs> Not a plastic bag. It's a plastic wallet. It's just made of plastic and it opens up. It's really cool, but you can also use it to customize your own wallet like this. Um, I got this in a duct tape set where you duct tape your wallets. Um, I'm not going to duct tape it because it comes off too easily, so I'm going to use paint. I'm just going to add the paints and start painting. I'm going to start painting. I picked off some of the paints. Um, uh, so now I'm going to start by taking your solid color, which I'm choosing as the darkest, so light blue, and just dabbing along one of the sides, <laughs> dabbing. So I'm just going to start by covering the whole, um, the first part in, um, paint. You might need to use a few coats. This sponge is also hard, so it's going to be hard for me. <laughs> now I am done the front. I got a little purple, but that's okay because I'm just going to be adding it like a tie-dye. Um, like a tie-dye shirt. It's going to be like a tie-dye wallet, but I'm using um, these colors and paint. And I decided to switch out my uh, sponge for this cloth because my sponge was too hard. But you guys can use sponges because they probably won't be as hard as mine. Anyway, now I'm going to get purple on my sponge slash cloth and just dab it. Dab it on, but like kind of mix it in. And if you get too much on one spot, then you can just kind of go over it later with blue to make it look like it's tie dye. Just keep dabbing and keep. Um, mixing it in. Once you're done all that, it looks pretty cool now, but I'm going to make it look even cooler by taking one of my dry spots of my cloth, or you can take um, a dry, you can use a dry cloth or paper towel, and just kind of pressing it on it, rubbing it in, and taking it off, just so that you get all of the excess on it. And it'll take the wetness, it'll take the paint and rub it in. Now I'm going to take a bit of the pink, it's one of the corners of my sponge thingy, and just do the same thing. But you just gonna dab it in, like generously dabbing it. And then doing the same thing as before. Now I'm going to take my cloth and put it in all three colors at the same time. Take it out so it looks like this. And then I'm going to just kind of wipe them off a bit. and keep going around with all the different colors to 
just making it tie dye and then I can just keep adding whatever colors I want to it to make it cool. So pretty much just be creative this part. There's no steps to this except for adding colors. Um, just be creative and if you want to do stripes you can, but I'm running out of paint, so I'm trying to be a uh, Trying to conserve the paint. Oops. And just keep dabbing it. It looks really cool. It looks awesome. And then on the inside, I just made stripes. And I can do some more details if I want to. I can take purple and do like swirls. Or, or another cool technique is taking your paint and going like this. Like swirling it in. Then you can get the whole um, the whole um, surface, and then use your other paint. Do the same thing on the other side, and blend it in the middle. And it blends. This is what it looks like on the inside, and this is what it looks like on the outside. And that's how you make your own wallet. Thanks for watching. Bye.